Meghan Markle's former Suits co-stars are still gushing about her royal wedding. Royal fans are still reminiscing about the royal wedding, including Meghan Markle's former Suits co-stars, and who can blame them? From the sparkling white gown to the country chic flowers, and even the couple's getaway car, the celebrations played out as if pulled directly from the pages of a modern-day fairy tale. But it wasn't any of those pretty little details that caught her former colleague's attention. Sarah Rafferty who shared a set with the newly minted Duchess during Suits seasons 1 through 7, just raved about seeing Meghan walk down in the aisle. It was a wonderful moment to get to see, Meghan, on that day and in that moment. It was special, Sarah, who plays Donna Paulson on the legal drama told Entertainment Tonight. Seeing, Meghan, walking on her own, in that moment before she met up with Prince Charles to walk the rest of the way, that was amazing. Meghan became the first royal bride to walk part away down the aisle herself in UK history, when she walked the nave of Street George's Chapel unescorted during her wedding to Prince Harry. She was joined by her now father-in-law Prince Charles for her walk through the aisle, where he then waited as she approached Harry herself rather than giving her away, again breaking tradition. It was no doubt a bittersweet moment for the brunette whose father Thomas Markle Sr. had to pull out of the big day due to ailing health. As for Gabriel Macht, who plays Harvey Specter on the hit series, seeing Elton John perform at the luncheon hosted by Queen Elizabeth was a sure highlight. It was surprising to see Elton John play I'm Still Standing. He's still standing, he was incredible and that was an incredible moment, the 45-year-old said. According to the Daily Mail, Harry asked. Can anyone play the piano? Before Elton dropped a medley of four hits, Your Song, Tiny Dancer, Circle of Life, and I'm Still Standing. Overall, though, the actor was simply pleased to be a part of the big day. I think, overall, just to be a part of such an uplifting story, you know? A story of inclusion, love, and there's so much stuff out there that's so depressing and dark. Gabriel said, This was just a remarkable day to go and support her and the royal family and it was an amazing time. Harry, 33, and Meghan, 36, are now believed to be enjoying some much-needed downtime away from the spotlight as they honeymoon in Alberta, Canada.